Hello everyone. In this video I will tell you 7 critical steps to help protect yourself online. 1. Don't open mail from strangers. If you get a phishing email with malware attached, you don't have to download the attachment for it to do damage to your home network. That's because drive-by downloads can install malware on your hard drive without you even agreeing to download them. In some cases, a drive-by download might disguise itself as a standard system update or another innocuous yes or no question, and even the most cyber-savvy among us can be fooled. For this reason, it's a good idea to refrain from opening any emails from addresses you don't know. 2. Make sure your devices are up to date. If you don't have your security software, web browsers, and devices set to update automatically, turn on those automatic updates now. Updates often include critical fixes for any security holes that may have been detected in your programs or devices. 3. Use strong passwords. There are several ways to protect yourself from identity theft online, and using strong passwords is one of them. Unfortunately, even now, people still use passwords like 12345678 or password. Don't use those, and also don't use your dog's name or your kid's birthdays. The best password is one that you can remember, but one that will be hard for other people, even malicious programs that try every password combination under the sun, to guess. An abbreviated sentence, or passphrase, is often better than a single word with numbers and symbols inserted. Or you can use a password management app to generate and store your passwords for you. A password manager can also help you generate unique passwords for each of your online accounts. For extra security, change your passwords several times per year. 4. Use two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication requires you to verify your identity after you've logged in using your username and password. In some cases, you'll be asked to verify your identity by entering a code sent by text to your phone or by email. Other times, you'll have to answer a security question. Whenever two-factor authentication is available, opt in. It may take you a couple of extra seconds to log into your accounts, but it can make it less likely that other people will be able to log into your accounts, too. 5. Don't click on strange-looking links. Viruses and other forms of malware often spread because you click on a link from someone you know. If you receive a link that looks strange, for instance, it may have typos in it, from a trusted friend or family member, contact them to ask if the link you've received was sent on purpose. You might have to wait a bit to watch that funny viral video, but better safe than sorry. 6. Avoid using unsecured public Wi-Fi. If possible, try to avoid accessing unsecured public Wi-Fi on your devices. Using it can make you vulnerable to predatory practices. And if you must use it, avoid entering compromising information, like your social security number or financial information, on any websites. Better yet, use a VPN, or virtual private network, to do your browsing when you're not at home. This will encrypt the data you send and receive, making it much harder to intercept. 7. Back up your data regularly. If you become a victim of malware, such as ransomware, you might not be able to get your data back. That is, unless you've backed up your data. When you back up your data, you can make certain kinds of security breaches less problematic. If a hacker encrypts your data and demands a ransom to unencrypt it, it's not going to be that big of a deal if you backed it up a week ago.